Hello, I'm Spencer Carroll. And I'm David Wallace. Welcome to this week's edition of News Flash. We hope that everyone had a relaxing holiday last week. With a shorter school week, our digital media class took some time to create a QR code. Our team has created a link to view all of our in-season sports rosters. You simply open up the camera app on your phone, hover over the QR code, and it will provide the link for our team rosters and schedules. We plan to add our winter and spring sports at a later date. If you have noticed the impromptu proposals lately, then you must know it's homecoming season. St. Aloysius students voted on a homecoming court earlier this month. 9th through 11th grade selected two young ladies for their court, and then the senior class selected five senior ladies for the honor court. Next, the entire school voted for one of these five to represent our school as the St. Al homecoming queen. The queen will be announced on October 1st during halftime at the football game. We hope to see all of our alumni at the game. And now, as y'all know, with more on sports, we move to our sports reporter, Will Keen. Thanks, David. The JV football team has gotten off to a strong start this season. They are currently 3-0, coming off a 40-0 shutout over the Park Place Christian Academy Crusaders. They were off this week, but they will return to action at home against ACCS at 6 o'clock on Thursday. The Flash's swim team won the Warren Central swim meet thanks to a strong performance from the girls' team. They will host a meet at the Vicksburg City Pool on Wednesday. The cross-country team competed in a race at Benton Academy this past Tuesday. The team placed second overall, with Walker Lambiet finishing third in the Varsity Boys Division and Hendricks Eldridge finishing second in the Varsity Girls Division. They will travel to the MRA Invitational on Monday. The Lady Flashes soccer team lost to East Rankin on Tuesday by a score of 1-0, and they will return to action as they travel to Washington Monday, and they will play Bio at home on Thursday. The Lady Flashes softball team lost to Central Hines on Monday, and their game on Tuesday was canceled due to bad weather. They will take on Kapaya Academy next Monday and MRA next Tuesday. Both games will be at home with the JV game starting at 5.30, so be sure to come out and support. The Flashes varsity football team is looking to turn their season around today against ACCS. They are currently 0-4 after losing a heartbreaker to Brookhaven Academy last Friday, but are looking to have a great comeback in the second half of their season. And we would like to wish good luck to the Flashettes as they prepare to go to the state championship on Wednesday. Good luck, ladies. That's all for this week. Now back to you, David. Thanks, Will. A special tradition we have here at St. Al is our commitment to service. With more on St. Al's service, we have Christine Wallace. Thank you, Spencer. In an effort to help those in need, the September of Service Committee, or SOS, was created by the VCS Senior Class of 2022. They are currently assisting VCS to raise money for St. Mary's Nativity School in Raceland, Louisiana to rebuild their playground that was destroyed by Hurricane Ida. Their goal is to raise $5,000. Earlier this week, I spoke to senior Marissa Jabor about this project. I'm Marissa Jabor and I'm a member of the SOS committee. Um, the SOS committee, it stands for September of Service and the whole month of September we are doing all kinds of different service opportunities. Recently, last Friday, we carried around some bags at the football games and people could donate. With that money, we're going to help rebuild a daycares like buy them some more toys for the kids to play with outside and then we're also going to read some books we're going to video ourselves reading books and they're going to send those out to parents and stuff so that the kids can have a book read to them each night next we move on to gabby with the teacher of the week Thanks, Christine. Today we'd like to introduce St. Aloysius teacher, Mrs. Candace Reeder. She is licensed to teach mathematics in grades K through 12. She currently teaches practical math in regular and honors algebra two and three. She is also a senior sponsor and the sponsor for Mu Alpha Theta. Earlier this week, I met with Mrs. Reeder to talk with her about her goals for the classroom. Uh, well, obviously, um, I want them, all of my students to be successful in the classroom uh, with math. However, I do hope that we can do things other than math and I can help to develop the whole student. I like to do devotions. We like to listen to music. I tell my students, try to tell them every week to embrace their inner weirdness and to um, be proud of who God made them to be. It's really hard for students to um, to accept and, and to really embrace 
Uh, it's hard for kids. And I try to remind them of that, that we're all weird and we're all different and that's okay. That what's, that's what makes us unique. Um, so more than just math in, in my classroom, I'm trying to remind my students all the time that, that they are loved and we're all different and that's okay. Thank you, Ms. Reeder. Next we go to Spencer with a developing story. Hello, I'm special reporter Spencer Carroll and today we are in the St. Aloysius parking lot where we have a very special presentation for you because today we will be reviewing some student parking. So come along. So today as we start we just want to start with the basics, you know, simple parking over the line type business. And the first vehicle we have today is this beautiful white Chevy Silverado. And as you can see here, take a look at this tire. Clearly, over the line. So I would have to rate this parking since it's not terrible, but it's still inconvenient. About a five out of 10 parking. So let's move on to the next one, you know. Now some students, depending on the vehicle they drive, have a more difficult time parking. It's understandable. But still, there's no excuse for this type of parking. It's, it's literally a square. Um, he's still behind it, nowhere in front of it. I'd have to rate this at least a 3 out of 10. But um, let's keep moving because it can't be as bad as this. Once again, Chevy Silverado, Auburn tag. Um, I just don't know how to describe this. Come look at this. We have not one, but two tires over the line. One completely just... A foot away from the line at least that is on it and we come around to the front and I think it's in the grass yep David it, it's in the grass but um it's got to be a 2 out of 10 because he put some effort into it but an argument could be made for 4 out of 10 but some days people just they can't necessarily hit the spots I mean th these are good these are these are fine they're in the lines but this right here this is what I want to talk to you about <sighs> David I, I have no words I mean just the angles the absolute sheer boldness of it. I mean, you really haven't seen anything like this before. I mean, this is probably, in my humble opinion, some of the best parking that I have ever seen. David, if I have to rate this, I, it's nowhere even short of a 10 out of 10, right? What we have here is probably a reverse parallel park, and it was executed perfectly. I mean, look at that, the angles. The boldness. Parked 79, 78. You just don't see anything like that. I mean, 10 out of 10. And with that, this is the end of your report. And I'm special reporter, Spencer Carroll. Thank you, Spencer. As you all know, I'm David Wallace with your weekly weather report. All I can say is that next week isn't looking too good. There are going to be thunderstorms all weekend and 50% chances of rain with a possible tropical storm downpour. Wear your rain jackets and purchase your St. Al umbrellas in the main office. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> Just as this week's weather is going to be electric, so are our Flash's pep rally at 2.15. The theme is out of this world, so make sure you wear your space theme attire to the pep rally and game. I hope to see you there. That's your flash weather. Next, we have Rachel Dahl. Rachel? Thanks, David. Today's saint of the day is Saint Hildegard of Bingen. She is the patron saint of creativity and was the fourth woman to become a doctor of the church. She was a well-known mystic and visionary in the Middle Ages. She sounds pretty cool. And now for this week's fun fact. Cheddar cheese was first invented in the 12th century in the area that is now Somerset, England. Maybe I shouldn't do fun facts about food. This is making me hungry. And now back to our lead anchors, Spencer and David. Thanks, Rachel. That's all the time we have for you today. You all have a great weekend. This is Spencer Carroll. And this is David Wallace. Stay safe out there, Flashes. Thank you for tuning in to this week's report. We'll see you next week for another News Flash. Flash.